Good afternoon, everybody. It's Saturday. And guess what? It's here. The Zizzo. This is the Urbano. And I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. It literally took less than a minute to build. It took about 15 minutes to take all the packaging off. But the build was so simple. It came fully adjusted. Um, Altis Shimano rear derailleur, 8 speed. Really cool looking chain. Uh, pedals that uh, basically flip up so you can fold it. Um, v brakes on it. Big fat saddle. Long, long seat post. Already got a bag on it with a, uh, you know, those slime uh, inner tubes that we used to use back in the day on BMX. That's what it's got in there. There's a big clamp that holds the frame together. It is an alloy frame with an alloy fork. So uh, I thought it would be super stiff, but it's not. It's a really comfortable little bike. Um, I put the stem as low as you can do it. Uh, simply because I don't like a really high position. It rides really cool. Got a front Lazine uh, little blinking headlight. And an older model Lazine tail light. 20 inch tires, 1.95. Uh, I believe they're Kendas. Got them pumped up to about 60 pounds PSI. Um, why did I get it? Well, I got it because I was watching all these videos of these guys rolling around on their Bromptons and having so much fun on these little tiny bikes. And honestly, I miss my old BMX days where, you know, we're doing all kinds of crazy stuff on our 20-inch bikes. So this just fit the bill. Super light, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Super light, uh, 24 pounds. So it's one of the lightest folding bikes of decent quality that are out there. The welds are actually really beautiful. Take a look at that. Now, I know I all told you the bike was going to be here on about the 20th, 25th. Uh, but the bike shipped out of Hayward, California. I believe, what's today? Saturday shipped on Thursday. And actually shipped on Wednesday. And I got it here uh, yesterday. Friday. So, you know, two-day turnaround, which is great. What's really nice is just like if you watch the videos, comes in two boxes, comes really, really well sealed. I mean, everything was protected. Even the chain was protected. And that's where it takes your time. It takes your time just un unpackaging it. But once it's unpackaged, pump some air in the tires and just go through the system. Um, I do want to push back the saddle just a tad. And I've got a little bit of rail left there, so I'm going to do that today. Uh, saddle's really big, as you guys can see, but it's designed to be ridden in regular shorts. It's not a performance bike. It's not um, It's not a Brompton, man. Um, well, I, I might put a black Brooks saddle on it. I think it'll give it that classic look. But what I really want to do is just start riding it, you know. I'm not going to put clipless pedals. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. What I'm going to do is just get out and ride it and make this a really fun little adventure bike. And uh, I'm just kind of excited about it, as you guys could tell. I was really anticipating it um, in about a week. But when it came so early, I just I built it last night. And you know, I got off work about 10 p.m., got home about 10.30, you know, went to bed about midnight after just pedaling around in my backyard. But I really like it, guys. If you guys want an affordable folding bike, really look at this company, Zizzo. They're out of uh, uh, Northern California. And uh, it's a good little company. Um, it's a great little bike. Uh, like I said, um, I think it's a great value. It gives you that those options to fold. It folds up really nice, guys. Really smooth. The clamping on them, is, it's, it's super easy. Um, it's almost intuitive. It's just really smooth. Everything works beautiful. If you're used to quick release, man, that's what this whole bike is. Everything is a quick release except one funny thing. The hubs are not. They're bolt-on. Uh, they're not sealed hubs either. Even though they're pretty smooth, they're uh, dust caps, you know, with bearings inside. So it's going to make them real serviceable. Uh, nice wide rim. And I know some of you are going to say, why is there a reflector still on them? I know, guys. i got to kill the reflectors. But uh, like I said, I got it. La I mean, I built it last night. I didn't. I had to be at work at seven in the morning, so I didn't have much time. What am I going to do with it? I don't know yet. 
Will I put racks and lights? Yeah, I already have, you know, the battery lights, but I might put a really cool light on it. And I think I'm going to do a rear rack. So let me see how it comes out. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, or if you guys have the bike, let me know how you're doing with it. All right, guys, talk to you all soon.